How do you make the ultimate counter to resurrect priest? Well, it's simple. First, you get yourself a Galakron Shaman quest deck. Then, you remove everything that synergizes with Galakron. So, no Galakron, no Kronk. Ba ba boom, ba ba bing, ba 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 ba. The ba da boom. Okay, now you have something good to work with. Then you put in any card that summons a minion for your opponent. So, Serenite Taskmaster, Marsh Drake, Zuldrak Ritualist, Leroy Jenkins, Muck Hunter, and The Beast. You throw in some stuff like, uh, I don't know, Hex for defensive purposes. And, you know, you gotta you got still kill the minions that they're playing. Mind control tech, so maybe you can steal a minion somewhere. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it seems good enough to me. Maybe some Earthshock here and there. But what will we replace? You know what? Looks fine. And then the next step is you go ahead and find yourself a couple of unsuspecting Resurrect Priests. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Ho oh, ho! A priest, huh? You're approaching me with your resurrect deck? <laughs> wow, get as close as you like. Not a bad opener either. Probably just play this on the two. He's most likely to not have an answer early on. That's where I get the most value. And maybe if he uses a card to kill it, it's fine, right? The quest and explorer is a better body, but it's not like I'm gonna pressure a quest priest. So, you gonna use a card to kill that? Pain or forbidden words work really well. To me was an average kid that no one understands. Before this uh, stream, I was binge listening to childhood TV show intros. Mom and dad are always giving her commands. That's fine. Why do I have an Electra on my deck? I have barely any spells. I need to get this out. Electra Earthquake, I guess, is a possibility. I'm ready to just slap the Leroy on turn 5. Like Don't hit face, obviously, against the Quest Breeze. His cheapest minion would cost 5. That's not Psycho Pomp. So let's see if he wants to coin something out here. Noise! I want to save the double battle cry trigger for my novice engineer because I'm gonna need card draw later. Hey, <laughs> enjoy your little whelplings! <laughs> if he masses stairs here, it will definitely kill both my attacking units for sure. If he does that, it's fine, right? That's cool, that's cool. I might just play this as a tempo play. By tempo, I mean like completing my quest. I will be your this is fine too. Actually, no, I should summon first. Let's see what I get. Mm, spell power, I guess this is relevant. Healing less so. Actually, healing is probably more relevant. So, I have diluted his res pool by 3 units right now. Kaltrut Defender, that's fine. I have big board clears. I wonder if I should draw so much. I'm not using, I'm not getting value out of this, right? Let's just complete this now. Ooh, Zuldrak, love it! So he has this in his res pool right now. Man, I should have attacked last turn, I don't know why I did that. That's a mistake. He has a lot of AoE though, that we have to slowly bait out. Maybe I should have put a win condition in my deck. Grand Archivist Alessania? <sighs> you might be looking to coin the thing of my bobber, right? 
He won't go for a resurrect play for sure. He might go for a plague of undeath play. Mm, wow, this is eight damage each. I should try and burst him down if I'm gonna have eight damage worth of removal. He's on turn nine. He's incentivized to um either coin plague or coin summon the board full of stuff. Board full of stuff it is. Albatross, Katarina, Muerte. I don't mind me, I'm just gonna help myself to a couple of these units. It's also Sandstorm, but I'd rather just steal units first, right? We don't mind this dying, because he already has a copy of this in his res pool. So we should kill that first. Oh, if you're sure. They are his odd parents for the odd parents. <laughs> We don't want to steal this if we can avoid it. I can kill this six units, right? You can bring him down to five units. Oh, maybe I should just. Thank you. Ah, still the psycho pond. That feels bad. I want to steal the Katarina. This wasn't on the map. Yeah! Clear the board, even though he'll most likely plague off uh, death here. Now the main problem is just his units by themselves. I might have just gone all face here. Put on some damage pressure. You're killing your own minion! He used to work for you! You're a terrible boss. We got Hextat. Uh, just so that it's not in his res pool, there's one of the better minions to have in your res pool. I wonder if he has realized my entire deck is just meant to counter his. He's like, wow, this guy is building a really weird deck, but it's strong against mine. Uh, Batterhead's so good here. He doesn't draw a lot of cards. He's down to a low amount of cards though, so that's good. What a nice, nice card for you. Alright, enjoy your very diluted res pool. <laughs> very, very diluted res pool. The zero power is actually really strong though. Wow, top deck shadow word pain. That's such a lucky draw. Yeah, that's a dead batter head. That's a problem. Yeah, that's the reaction is fine. Wow, that's incredibly greedy. Don't want to deal with that, right? I need to try and apply some pressure. Most of my battle cry is going to give him stuff, though. You know what's good? The Albatross actually delays my fatigue by a significant amount. I should kill that. Just use an earthquake. Yeah, this hero power is a problem. I have infiltrators. I have a uh, Katarina Moite. I must ponder. There's a price on your head. Your the main problem is the hero power, I'd say. We can get more value from our uh, sledge thurpers and whatnot. A lot of value. I just need to draw the sledge thurpers. Because I didn't hit any value lackeys. I mostly hit damage lackeys. I only hit damage lackeys, actually. There's the Katrina. Oh, 
Oh my god, the one minion he played! <laughs> That's big. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, why am I so unlucky? Mm, all the Battlecry units I played, besides my control tech, Everything I do will summon stuff for my opponent, right? Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. Damn. Ooh, we just need a Zul Drak. <laughs> we don't need the Marsh Drakes and the Muck Hunters. That's so weird. Alright. I need to try and buy as much time as I can. That hero power though. Maybe I should have never hit him in the face. Lessons learned. Never hit a priest in the face. This might hurt. Oh, finally. Thank you. I would get a dragon. Marsh Rick is technically a dragon, actually. Eureka, Reign of Toes. Probably just Dragon Breath here. Hmm, the batter head is a lot of damage. <sighs> so healthy. What a healthy boy. Wait, is it me? How much did this restore? Oh, it heals and then it's plus three, plus three. Got it. How do I deal with this? Jesus. It's another 6 damage next turn. This is 9 damage. I only have 10 damage in total somehow. I could silence and I hope he doesn't have 1 point of damage. And as a priest, getting a random 1 point of damage is pretty difficult. I'll go to one health here, right? And the biggest mistake here was just hitting him in the face, thinking I can kill him. Dude, what if I kill myself with Shadow Walk? That's a very real possibility. Ooh, Earthquake, nice. But I'm one health. How do I get healing? I can discover a lackey that heals, right? Assume I don't just kill myself. <laughs> I killed myself. <laughs> Okay, some refinement needs to be made to this deck. Most likely don't need, uh, you know, Muck Hunter or Marsh Drake. I think that's a little too meme-ish. You know what we do need? Hmm, what do we need? Okay, let's... Okay, we need to not hit them in the face, first of all. That was a mistake. How do I directly kill a big minion? Zantimo's probably really good. With Hexes and Urshocks. Especially Hexes. If we go for Hagatha's, maybe we can play Hagatha. And this way, we can get free spells. Or maybe we play Galakron. No, no, no. 
not that toast. Not definitely not that. I think a grand archivist so that we can go to the late game would be a good idea. How do we destroy big minions? Big game one No, big healthy minions. It's actually not that easy to destroy big healthy minions. A shaman once you're out of hexes. Grand Archivist Elisania, in case they try and mill us. And then Farsight. Do I need double earth shocks? Nah. I think Farsight to get through the deck quicker is good too. Okay, now we have a 100% win rate against Priest. Ooh, a Priest with the special Priest skin, so you know. You know he means business. Okay, this time I learned from my mistake. Don't hit him in the face. Whatever you do, Toast, do not hit him in the face. If you can follow that one simple lesson, you can achieve anything you want. Wait, that seems unfair. I have to hit him. And he gets a free heal. Because it comes injured. Wait a second. Runs injured Tovir with quest. And Lazul? What kind of quest resurrect? This isn't resurrect priest. This is like healing priest or something. Not very cool, sir. Thought we were going to have fun. You lied to me. Why would you do that? Hmm, hit a lot of lackey cards. Does he run Divine Spirit Inner Fire? Because that'd be heck of lame. Okay, he only healed two health. If we never hit him in the face, we'll be fine. Right? Right, guys. Oh, but he also runs Convincing Infiltrator, which continues to be a thorn in my side. I don't think he'll play... If he play this, does he really actually play his Resurrect? Like, legit, do you play it? Mm, I think Convincing Infiltrator is, like, the guy to pop Hex. Because it's really annoying if he just keeps making them right. But then again, I kill them with Earthquake, so maybe it's fine. This gives me two spells, which is nice. It's very nice. I like three spells. Hmm, I need Hagatha's scheme. And a Blazing Invocation doesn't seem too bad. I guess he could trade this in and then heal his own unit. I need to not let him heal his own units. Because I'm not going to hit him in the face, which is okay. You cycle Pomp for Madame Lazul. Yo, this guy's insane. Like, he's actually crazy. And I worry for his sanity. If you're holding a f spell that costs 5 or more, gain plus 1, plus 1. Woohoo. So this could be a 3 mana 5, 5. Can't pass that deal up. This is going to be the most annoying minion I ever have to play against. I'll just do it now. It's kind of just being annoying right now. I want to save Earthshock. I can't hit him in the face, though. I'll let him play into me. Heal for one. Okay. Oh, there's the Zudrak. <laughs> no mana Sandstorm. Okay. Just play this for tempo. Honestly, this dude kind of screwed his own res, res pull himself. 
So it's like Quest Resurrect Priest, except he runs Madame Azul and Injured Tovier. Okay. So I'm guessing you want to play Mass Resurrect next turn, don't ya? Well, let's see you Mass Resurrect garbage! <laughs> Those cards aren't bad, actually. The three hunter card? Yo, that's good. Eureka! What's the worst hunter card you can get? It's a hunter spell, right? <laughs> Not the best mass resurrection I personally have ever seen. It's uh, really not up there. Mm -hmm, indeed. Mm -hmm, indeed. Big bad voodoo. That seems fine. Ancestral spirit seems fine too, but. Ancestral spirit this. Take another polymorph. The goal would be to slowly grind him out of the game, right? Go into fatigue, save coin for Grand Archivist Alessania, so I can re I can double up on the decks. Timo. Okay, I don't want to give him too much, you know. Yeah, this is fine. Hmm, Lightning Stone, probably just more shocks. And Witch's Brew. Do I want another Earthquake? I think it's nice to just have something that heals me. Just in case. Or maybe I can heal him. Wait, I need to heal myself so he can't heal me and complete his quest, huh? Yo, that's just big brain. I don't have any more ways to get value, so I should try and play this a little slow. Another mass resurrect, or is it gonna be, uh... Okay... Oh, penance. Don't you worry about penancing yourself. Or recasting a secret. Can you recast a secret? Oh, thanks, Vargoth, for letting me know what secret that is. You're a real, a real buddy. Guys, it might be explosive trap. If he has a second Plague of Death, uh, he'll use it here. His Mass Hysteria would not be very good though. Well, mostly, again, playing on the defense here. We don't want to hurt him. Because once that quest reward gets completed, it's like super annoying. That's the second plague of death, which is fine. Just kind of bad though, because now I don't have minions. Said Shadow Walk, which is a great minion. Let the record show. Okay, if he starts healing me, I need to heal myself. Having coin hero power into Shadow Walk seems so unfair. Care to dance Ah, oh, there's the batter head that was giving me so much problems last time. Well this time, buddy, I'm ready for you. Not right now, but just you wait. Come on, let's see the big brain of healing me. Oh wow, this is actually not a bad unit. 
Maybe we can borrow that batter head. We can earth shock this and go for the double steal, right? Ooh! Look at me. I'm the batter head now. Okay. I'm the batter head. Okay, once I fix my mistakes from the first game, this one has been smooth sailing. I have gained at least 30 points of IQ between the two games. Minimum. That's fine. Questing Explore. I'm just gonna play it so it's not eating up my hand size. Come on, mate. You won 1,000 game with Priest? Yeah, let me just, uh, let me help you out here, buddy. Give you some better minions to res. Come on. Res more convincing infiltrator. Get more batter heads. I'm taking out the anger of playing against 1,000... Uh, convincing infiltrator on on this boost. I was there. Where he just kept saying, Hello, fellow humans. Hello, fellow humans. He was clearly not a human. So it didn't make sense for him to say, Hello, fellow humans. Because he, he wasn't a human. You know? I'm gonna play this again to empty my hand. Because Shadow Walk is gonna draw me like four spells. <laughs> ah, he's actually gonna be able to start resing Convincing Ilfer Trader. But he just used Double Master Resurrection, his Katrina Morte, and his Xerx Cloning Gallery. So he's really down to nothing. Oh, I forgot about that interaction. I mean, I remember, and this is part of play, that I was going to go for it no matter what, and I'm not an idiot. <laughs> this is why I need Grand Archivist. I feel like I can get milled if I don't have it. We didn't have the Grand Archivist plan last game, which is why I felt pressured to make it play. But now that we have it this game, I can take it all chill. Super chill. Draconic Lackey, that's a lot of value. I, have no cards. I imagine he'll give up after he sees this, right? Wait! Grand Archivist... Oh, sorry. Discover five cards, two copies of each. I thought they nerfed her, because I remember ten cards. I was like, did they nerf it to five cards? Oh, Mechathun. Sure. Uh, Lava Burst hits the face, sure. Portal Keeper, sure. Uh, Azra Elemental, sure. Ziliax, sure. Yeah, I know we said not to hit him in the face, but at some point we should hit him in the face, right? Uh, here, Mecha Zoom. Dude, I'm getting too much value. He has one more mass hysteria. He's really seeing this game out to the end. What a champ. He's taking it like a man. What a champ. Yes, Mukla! Yeah, it's still okay. Alright, Evasive Draconoid, big fan. Deathwing, not as big of a fan. 
The start of turn, gain plus two spell power. How much spell power can I gain? Can I get my lava burst to one shot him? Because if so, that would be mwah, great. Don't be doomsayer, by the way. Thank God. Ooh, spur off the bat. Okay, if he's gonna do nothing, I'm just gonna let my Azerite Elemental go Super Saiyan and gain 26. Not very cool, man. Not very cool at all. How did he get this? Oh, Madame Lazul. Aha, by summoning, by shuffling six more cards into my deck. I delay my fatigue by six more turns. Big brain. Big brain toast. Big brain. You think I won't hit you in the face? That's what you think, right? Well, you're right, I won't. I'm just gonna wait. Really gonna super heal at this point? I think no. I committed to not hit him in the face, and I'm gonna see it through. I'm not gonna hit him in the face once this game. Ooh, I actually got to keep a minion. If I play Shadow Walk, am I gonna regret it? Probably. But it could be hilarious. Damn, when you put it like that. I guess it can be hilarious. That's true. It could be worth a laugh and a giggle. Oh, he's gonna start healing himself through fatigue. This guy's brain is too big for me. It's too big for me. It makes total sense. He's gonna heal himself through fatigue and complete his quest super early. Dude, I'm just curious, what would happen if I play Shadow Walk? Animations are much faster than expected. Wait, why can't I kill anything here? Oh, it's new minions that get summoned that I'm supposed to kill. Drawing cards, not as cool. Oh my god, if you got a savage roar off that. <laughs> With the hunter spell. I don't think it would have killed me. It just would have been a truckload of damage. Look, I said I'm not going to hit him in the face. And I have to commit to that line of play. 
Just trying to think what he can have left in his deck. Ooh, Katret Defender. You know, I feel bad. I should let him complete his quest. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let him complete his quest. He worked so hard for it. There you go, buddy. Is this game going to go to fatigue? No, it takes 45 turns to go to fatigue. Which means mathematically, you need to take like 15 damage per fatigue card for it to reach that point. Take 8 here, then he's going to take 9, and then he's going to take 10. So he'll die in 2 turns? What's your last hunter spell? It might be another explosive trap. <laughs> Dude. I will tolerate Resurrect Priest. What I will not tolerate is roping. Sir, if you rope me, I'm going to pound you with this Colossus. And he is not gentle. Who would hurt more? Mechathun or Colossus? Mechathun? Because it's like medical, metal and tentacly, Which means it can slide into places where there shouldn't be objects. Let's go with the mega two. Boom! GG. <laughs> Such a mean deck, but it's Resurrect Priest. And uh, Resurrect Priest has been around since, what, Barnes? Two years ago, three years ago? Feels good. Lights out.